it is world's best host, Mr. Afternoons, right now. E.T. Cali inside of the galaxy. Now, before this man starts talking, you guys have to understand that he already has a crazy fan base. I had one of my friends who is in um, cybersecurity walking out the building. <laughs> very beautiful woman, multimillionaire, right? And she's like shaking his hand like, you look very familiar to me. <laughs> so please, how would people know you, sir? Well, uh, it's the himself. <laughs> Wait a minute. The, the introduction is, is, is insane. It's the himself. Dun, da, da, da. Nah, nah, nah. Um, no, nah, it's it's my name is Josh Levi. You probably people probably know me from my song Birthday Dance, which just went viral, or some of my other music from my EP Disc Two. Okay. Or just I don't know from the internet, some fashion stuff, YouTube, who knows? Fashion man. stuff. Yeah. Like what fashion stuff, sir? I Educate be, me. I be in the fashion world here and there. You what know you what mean? I'm like saying? modeling clothes and printing stuff? Yeah, here and there. Yeah. Like what? Educate me. I didn't know this. <laughs> I don't be knowing. Well, right? I, I walked uh, my first show for Willie Shavaria, which is like a, a really uh, huge brand in New York, like a year ago. And then I went to Milan with Diesel. Ooh, I love. Um, first of all, my closet's full of Diesel, but thank you. Diesel's the best. Yeah, I love Diesel. It's it's one of my favorite brands. I'm always pretty much in Diesel. Right. Uh, uh, I do stuff with them, man. Different like magazines and, and fashion stuff. Agni Studios. Um, yeah, I'd be I'd be in the fashion world. One foot in, one foot out. But... Right. So from fashion to music, uh, the entertainment industry is 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 obviously deep within you. This starts from somewhere, though. Yes. Right? There's always a foundation of greatness. And you know what's so funny about that? Is sometimes the foundation of greatness is never the result. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like it, That's the weird part. It's, yeah. it's never the result. So what's the foundation? The foundation is Houston, Texas, early 2000s church. Church. <laughs> so from church to I rock diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. And I'm making music and women are loving it. It's the that craziest. Part. Isn't it crazy how the foundation, it's like the seeds of life, right? It sounds weird yeah. to say that, but it's like, yo, okay, you know, this seed turns into what? You don't know what kind of tree or branches are going to happen, right? You never know, bro. You just take it as it goes, one one step at a time, one moment at a time. But for me, like many of my favorite artists, um, it started in the church, which is which is really, I'm grateful for. Right. I was around amazing vocalists all the time. And you can't really you can't really pay for that just to hear and observe great voices mm -hmm. at all times. I think that's like one of the best things that can happen to you as a singer, as a as an artist. So yeah, I think I think when you're when you're a person, no matter what you're doing in the music industry, because it, it was always known, uh, you know, Tupac took vocal lessons and people like that. Uh, I, I had the the luxury of having a mother that was classically trained and was an opera singer, so I grew up around sonically. You know how cool that is. It's not cool when your mother sings your name. <laughs> That's how you know you're in trouble. If I, like, wow, I left the dishes out, work? my mom would sing my name, and then I happen to have like a Muslim slash East African name. Okay. So my mother would say it, and it's perfect enunciation. Can you? Can you um, and she would sing it. Do you have like an example? Or can I can't sing, but my, okay. my real name is pronounced Tarif. Tarif. And my mother would say my first and my, my last name together. And that's how I knew I was in trouble. Okay, good. And she would sing it, and I was like, oh, damn. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I knew. So it, it's not, <laughs> it doesn't sound good coming from that perspective. Okay. Baby. But, now you, so you come from that, that's your foundation, and now yeah. you're doing what you're doing, diesel and singing and that whole nine. But now we went from the church to... To the Lost Angels. Because <laughs> now you're in L.A. Now I'm in L.A., man. Okay, yeah. so talk about that. So what's going on? Uh, L.A. is really different from Houston. Isn't it, though? Yes, it's it's two different worlds. Houston is... Houston, to me, like has a real culture. Um, yeah. There's always like a debate whether L.A. has a culture. And I think it does, but it's it feels... It's a lot of people come to L.A. Um, yeah, because they're looking for the stardom to get popular yeah. in the world yeah and they're willing to do anything so they're like kind of lying a little bit in order to get them on <laughs> you know what i mean like you know you're it's getting the like the truth. new yeah it's yeah. like you're getting like the kind of truth but yeah. not really i'll do whatever it takes to get on you know what i mean houston houston just like actually breathes and and 
there's a it facilitates there's like a real culture of, yeah. of music of food of women of art even of like it's just it feels like there's more of a maybe because i grew up there i don't know but it's it's diff, it's way different from la la is great great weather yeah. houston is hot as hell so yeah that's, that's like are you in the valley i'm in the valley in la yeah that's what it is you know the valley is like 10 degrees hotter than anywhere else i know i know but i'm a chill <laughs> guy i'm a chill i'm a super chill person i'm a libra i don't like the noise i just like being in my own world you yeah. know what i'm saying so yeah those, girl, those like, girls don't like that they want to be seen and heard yeah it's a do. rap where are we going da, 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 da. exactly you, you gotta find I mean? me like in my in my batman cave um, right yeah. and it, it, is it is the dating scene difficult for that for you or is it just like i'm, I'm cool let me just focus on my music it actually works in my favor because believe it or not women like guys that just be in their own world that just do their own thing they so don't, they're like, they don't like, try that hard it's like cool like she's like cool you gonna be at home i'm gonna be over here exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nah 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 no um i love it man i just be walking on my own beat man and that's that was that's what works for me better than anything else like not being in the streets and yeah being outside that's not even like my my it's not even wave. it's not even your thing. It sometimes like if I'm in the mood, mm -hmm. but but I'm truly you need, you need you know I I always it's it's funny you say that I, I would like to say that people in the entertainment industry there, there's a couple things I say but one of the things I say is that this is the entertainment industry not to tell me the truth industry yeah that's one yeah, the, yeah. the second thing is a lot of people who are like part of the limelight scene at, at whatever level radio podcasting hosting whatever DJing artists it's only we only like it when we can turn it off and on. For real. It doesn't we don't want it on every day. For sure. Yes. That's me anyways. Right. Like, I'm I'm kind of like a shy person. Like I'm I have an alter ego on stage. Right. But you get that mic, it's one thing. And when the mic's off, it's like, okay, now can y'all Whole back different up? person, bro. So so yeah, it's it's I appreciate the moments when I can just have a moment to myself. Right. And just be in my own world. But on stage it's like that's that's when Batman, that's what my fans that's when the other guy comes out. Well, Batman. Um, <laughs> let me ask you this, sir. <laughs> me, right now, right now it's Bruce Wayne. Let me, let me ask you this, Bruce Wayne. Um, a lot of artists that I've come across, especially in the, in the entertainment industry, in, in some form, they have other hidden talents, right? Like, yep. it could be something small. It could be cooking. Maybe you're a good skateboarder. I don't know. Yeah. What's your hidden talents? Um, That's a good question. I mean, I'm great at... I can tap dance. Whoa! I mean, I feel like that's not that crazy because I'm a dancer, so it's not like the most wildest thing. And then it is like that's not like like I can't like hit someone. I can't throw a rock and hit someone who tap dances. Yeah, I, I can almost find anyone who can <laughs> sing though, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's something. It's like a random thing that I'm I'm good at. Um, and then I'm also like learning French. So so you can so you're learning to speak a different language. So you like so you like language and linguistics. I, love I can't that, spell but... it, but I know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> that that took me out. Yeah, I love that. That's like, I love listening to music in different languages. I love traveling, bro. I love different types of food and different yeah. cultures. Like that's like what makes me happy. That's like my nerdy stuff that I like. The nerdy side of you. Yeah. Is it difficult to have that going on behind the scenes? And it's like, uh, I can't really expose that to everybody because they only accept me for this. That's one thing that artists. A lot of artists have don't understand yeah is you don't get to pick your fans your fans pick you that's yeah, and so that's true. you don't get the option to decide how or if someone's that's why artists get mad like i put this record out and the label wouldn't let me put it out it's like because they don't see you that way bro yeah yeah i know how you see yourself but that's not how the audience sees you yeah with me man i just like to be as authentic as possible at all times so that when people like me they like me actually right not this version of of myself that's not me mm -hmm. of course there's like different layers in it like i said because i'm kind of shy into myself but um i just try to just always be myself and then that way they can take it or leave it now yeah and then it doesn't come out later and it's like oh this nigga likes this and yeah you know, i always was doing that like i was on tiktok live like the, two nights ago and i was playing my favorite french song and they were all laughing at me and i was like take it or leave it this is me this is yeah, what i yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying so 
I just started to do it now. It is, it all that's gonna, all that's going to do is that when you find someone that's gonna be personal in your life, they're going to be so different and out of the norm for sure. that it's gonna be great for you because you're literally weeding out the common folk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By being that way, you're getting rid of the minions. Yes. Yes. You See, know you what I mean? You got Sailor Moon on the hoodie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, listen, like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a skater, a hip hop uh, gangster, like. Me and uh, I got a chance to interview Nipsey Hussle. One of the jokes that we were laughing about is because I grew up in Southern California. I grew up in all over from L.A., to Santa Ana, San Diego. He's more so just strictly L.A. And so the funny thing about it was, I was like, yeah, I grew up around skaters and, and game bangers. And that was like our little joke. I was like, that's how I grew up. You know what <laughs> well, I mean? It yeah. was like, he was like, yeah, you either going to get your ass beat from, you know, bangers or, or dudes with skateboards. You know what I'm saying? I was like, that's how I grew up. That's crazy. So it just depends on where, you know, what you're, what you're into. You know, I'm into martial arts. I love that. Funny you know, enough, I, when I was little, I had a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. Taekwondo is, is tough, bro. Yeah. You know, Ro Joe Rogan uh, was big in Taekwondo. He, I think I if you ever see that, him yeah. kick, you don't want to get kicked by that old man. Oh, wow. That's one yeah. ball-headed man that would kick the hell out of you, bro. <laughs> if you see, if you go go search Joe Rogan kicking a bag, you'll never look is at that crazy? podcaster the same oh, way, wow. bro. Wow, it's pretty, yeah. it's pretty Taekwondo damn Taekwondo is no joke. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty damn intense, brother. Uh, uh, any last words you want to tell the people, ladies, fellas, uh, with your music, what you got going on? Uh, I would say just keep doing your little dance, man. I, my song. The birthdays. Bir birthday dance, bro. If Whether or not it's your birthday or not, I made this record that's going viral right now yeah. to to give people an excuse to feel good on any day, man. To right. do their one-two on any day. To have a good time uh, on any day. So... Um, yeah, this is an excuse and a reason to work no matter where you're at in your life, feel good and, and do your one too. So. And the last thing I want to say is to my doctor, Dr. Smith, I'm going to be sending him to you for LASIK. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he has said, yo. he has said, yo, bro, you got it done. I was like, I got it done. He's like, I'm bro. tired and he's contacting me. Man. All this blinking, it sucks. People don't know. That's one thing, I guess, that's like a, a hidden thing about me is I cannot see. Your boy cannot see. But yeah. I've been gifted in other areas, and yeah. that was not one of my gifts. So you ugly mud ducks, you might have a chance until he gets that surgery. <laughs> until that time, he going to call you fine. But until he, when Yo. he gets his eyes correct, he won't get none of that check. I'm here to help, baby. I'm dead. Man. Oh, man. You guys follow. What's your IG page again, bro? Josh Levi. Josh there Levi is, on man. everything, man. Josh Levi, but he, he walks for Diesel. We're in this thing, man. ET says, let's go. <laughs>